This is Pastor Samuel Wilson with another word for your Wednesday. Today we're looking at Joshua chapter 1, particularly a phrase that's repeated throughout Joshua chapter 1. Be strong and courageous. That phrase is being given to Joshua, who is taking over for Moses, who had been the leader of the Israelites up to that point. Joshua is given these words by God in Joshua chapter 1. And if you go back just a couple of chapters in the Bible to Deuteronomy chapter 31, you'll see that Joshua had begun to be told these words earlier. First, Moses told Joshua, be strong and courageous. Then God told him in Deuteronomy 31, be strong and courageous. Then in Joshua chapter 1, three times God tells him, be strong and courageous. Then at the end of the chapter, the people tell Joshua, the people he's leading, by the way, tell Joshua, be strong and courageous. What do you think Joshua needed to do? Yes, you got it. Be strong and courageous. He needed courage. He needed strength because he was going to lead the people. He was doing something that he had never done before. And he gets these continual reminders in his life. Sometimes there are reminders that we get in our lives from the Lord and others and from God's word that remind us of something that we need to do so that we would be strengthened and encouraged in a season. Joshua is given that. Not only that though, God gives him the keys so that he can find success as he is strengthened and encouraged. In verse eight, we see three things. First, the Lord tells Joshua, do not let uh, the law pass from your mouth. Don't let it depart from your mouth. And so keep God's word on your mouth. The next thing he tells Joshua is meditate on God's word. Lastly, he says, do according to it. Do everything that you can do to do according to God's word. Then he says again, be strong and courageous. The Lord is with you wherever you go. Well, I don't know what themes you're having in your life right now. What sort of thing is recurring or what you're sensing the Lord might be even speaking to you today through this word. But I think that the recipe for Joshua is a good recipe for us to keep God's word on our mouth, to meditate on it and to do according to it and find success in the things that we do. Maybe you need strength today. Maybe you need courage. Maybe you need something else. But whatever you need, I know that God has that. And so I encourage you to turn to him, to look to him and to be strengthened and equipped by him for whatever you're going through so that what you go through, you'll grow through. I hope you're having a wonderful week. I look forward to seeing you soon. God bless you.